Hello, my name is John Spangle. Welcome to my uh, YouTube channel, Underground, which the name of the channel, Underground, represents an uh, underground church. I always talk about China and Iran. Uh, there's places all over the world, but the church has gone underground in those two places, and there's a big revival going on right now. And I believe that fulfills prophecy. But the church will go on the ground in the future, near future, and especially during tribulation, it'll be on the ground because of persecution of Christians. I am not a scholar. I am not a minister or a teacher. I just love to talk about God. And I'm a sinful person. I try to do my life better every day. And the reason for this is I don't, because of health reasons, I, I don't go to church as much. And so it's my opportunity to, whatever I study about, talk about. And I have various videos, anywhere from talking about suicide to cannibalism to God's vengeance. But there's some good things there. <laughs> it's a doom and gloom kind of type thing there. But I talk about a lot of things because I think God answers all kinds of questions. And so with all that, I wanted to do a short video just to give an example of God's great love to us. God loves us so much. And my favorite verse of the Bible, which probably was the one verse that uh, most people know, even those people that aren't uh, believers know, and that's John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so that right there would be enough to talk, but I'm going to talk about a few more verses. But Jesus, it's... God's three parts, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. I'm still learning uh, different things, but as more I learn, that's a subject I'm going to talk about more later as I study into, but from what I understand, uh, so Jesus was became man. He was there before uh, God created him through. Uh, he was there from the beginning. God the Father, the Son, Holy Ghost was there from the beginning. Jesus became flesh later as God had him born through Mary, a virgin. And so he, he dealt with the flesh. He dealt with everything we dealt with so he could be that sacrifice for us. And I did a video explaining death on the cross, how, how horrible it is to give understanding at any moment, Jesus could have walked off, and he did. I would have. Most people would have. Well, everybody would have. In other words, you wouldn't go through willingly go through that that torture if you had the way to stop it. Yeah, he, he could have stopped it any time. But he did that for us. He loved us so much. I can't even stress it. It's just that enough. That's why I love that, that verse so much, because it, it tells everything. It also tells us how to be saved. His sacrifice is the reason why we're saved. We're saved by the grace of God. Nothing by nothing that we do can save ourselves. Jesus did that sacrifice. We just have to believe and forgive. And that's for forgiveness for our sins. And be repentive. That doesn't mean you won't sin in the future. But when you sin or mess up, you go immediately back to God. That's why Jesus had to be the perfect sacrifice. 1 John Chapter four, verses seven through eight. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is not, a, for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for love is God. You love one another. It's like someone does something bad to you. You know, you get angry, but you're not quick to burn that bridge. You're. You, you allow things. And so that's not saying someone being in an abusive relationship, they should allow that abuse to happen. No. Uh, but I understand that people make mistakes. And uh, you have that, that strong love for them. First John chapter 4, verse 16. And we have known and believed the love that God hath us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. You're just loving towards people. You know, you... You're not vindictive. You're not. Uh, now, a lot of people, uh, L, if I say this right, LGBTQ, I don't know, in the community where you have homosexuality and you have uh, 
transgender and all that ungodly stuff. You know, they always say, well, God is love. So God's loving knows that this. God talks throughout the Bible about relationships, man for woman and woman for man, not man and man, woman to woman. You're not to change your your sex. You're not to dress up like, I mean, it talks bad about doing all this stuff. That's not love. That's flesh. There's a difference. That's lust. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 through 5. But God is rich in mercy, for his great love worth he loved us. Even when we are dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ, by grace you are saved. And that goes back to John 3.16. He, he loved us so much that became flesh to suffer so we can live. And the last verse I put down here, uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. Behold, what manner of love that Father hath bestowed upon us, that he should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, but because it knew him not. The world don't under, doesn't understand love. That's the reason I was talking about the, like the gay community and all that stuff. You know, They don't understand what love really is. It's not a flesh thing. And so they're, they're, they're going to perish. I just, the, the love to give your life for someone is beyond. I've known a lot of veterans, well, veterans myself, but combat veterans, I've seen so much sacrifice and I've lost friends and uh, it's just to give yourself for someone else. It's just that I just can't put it in words. I messed up. I'm wanting to, but I can't put it in words because sometimes I think about uh, when I was in Iraq. I've seen so much death. And uh, that that love, brotherhood, you would give your, your life for each other. And I know that, that God created us, but he gave us a way for salvation. And people of the world attack. God wants us to love him back. He gives us a choice. That's how much he loves us. Uh, it's not He's not happy when he sees people suffer. He's not happy when he sees people reject him. Because people go to hell, they choose it. God sends not one person to hell. A person chooses hell. They choose their own wants and desires over God. Who says, if you follow me, I'll take care of you. But they don't want that. They want their own. And so, but yet he he's willing to give himself and sacrifice himself so you'll be saved when you don't deserve it. And that means myself too. You know, I can't point a finger at somebody. You always have this three fingers pointing back when you point a finger at somebody. Of course, in the military, they always go like that. Why? Because they don't want the three fingers pointing back at themselves. But, uh, it's true. And see how go. When you point, don't point with finger. Point like that. And what do you say? Well, over there? Yeah, over there. As soon as you do that, give me push-ups. <coughs> Excuse me. So, but there's no greater love than God's gifts for us. And he's there. He's there. And because of that, we get to spend our eternity with him. So many people won't because they won't accept his love. I mean, and you have these people. The reason why I mentioned the homosexual lifestyle so much because that's what they use so much. You have this, uh, I watched a, a thing about a minister who's a gay, uh, outward gay minister, Mincy's gay. Well, God's love, love, that's that's nothing like it. That's just trying to set things up so you can live your sinful lifestyle. And so... I hope this gives you something to think about and to study and uh, just feel some comfort knowing that uh, our Father loves us so much that he is willing to do many things for us. And, and because of that, we are taken well care of. God bless you and hopefully uh, uh, motivate you, like I said, to study some more on your own.